I'm Kristen Stewart and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Welcome to Monsoon Awareness Week. Today's topic is on lightning, a dangerous light show of electricity common with thunderstorms associated with a monsoon. Let's dive in and take a look at why lightning is so dangerous and how to keep yourself safe this monsoon season. Lightning is a powerful discharge of electricity that occurs between a cloud and the ground or within a cloud during a thunderstorm. It can be seen as a bright flash or bolt across the sky and is followed by the sound of thunder. The electricity associated with lightning is significantly more powerful than everyday sources of electricity, making it potentially deadly. From data gathered between 2009 and 2018, lightning has killed on average 27 people each year in the United States and is one of the top causes of weather-related fatalities. Almost two-thirds of lightning fatalities have occurred as a result of outdoor recreation, especially from water-related activities. Since 2006, the vast majority of these fatalities have occurred when someone was out fishing or spending time at the beach. There's a plethora of outdoor activities to take advantage of across the Southwest. Here in Southern California, hitting the beach is a local favorite. Whatever you choose to do, remember to keep your guard up. If you see storm clouds rolling in or hear a rumble of thunder, that will be your time to act. We have a saying here at the National Weather Service, when thunder roars, go indoors. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning, even if a storm is miles away. The best way to stay safe is to shelter inside an enclosed, sturdy building away from windows, such as inside our office here. Try to avoid canopies and tents if you can. If there's no building close by, the next best choice is to shelter inside a hardtop vehicle with the windows rolled up. If lightning strikes the vehicle, it will be directed into the ground through the tires. Once you're in your shelter, remain in place for at least 30 minutes after the last sound of thunder before going back out to resume your activity. Many people will likely be heading to the beach this summer to beat the heat. If you decide to go swimming or catch a wave, make sure to get out of the water and find shelter if you hear thunder or see a flash. Water conducts electricity and is a very dangerous place to be during a thunderstorm. What if you're hiking or camping and far away from any building or vehicle? You might be tempted to shelter under a tree. This is something you should not do. Lightning will strike the tallest object in an area, so avoid standing under any tall trees or on top of a mountain. If you are hiking in the mountains, get below the tree line as soon as possible so lightning is more likely to strike the trees. There's no safe place outdoors during a thunderstorm, but if you find yourself caught with nowhere to go, the best thing to do is crouch down low and just have your shoes touching the ground. Before you head outdoors this summer, make sure to check the forecast. If there's a chance of thunderstorms for your area, it might be best to postpone your activities for a day with better weather. If you do plan to go out, make sure you have a way to receive warnings just in case severe weather strikes. Your smartphone and your NOAA weather radio are great options. We hope you enjoyed our video as we took a closer look at the threat of lightning during monsoon thunderstorms. Make sure you're prepared when you're out there recreating across the Southwest this summer. Thanks for watching and have a safe summer.